Hey guys, I want to talk about this uh, phone game for a bit before I go back to uh, mostly Warhammer stuff. Uh, this game, it, uh, Re Fantasia Charm and Conqueror, uh, I started playing it like five days ago. And I've been playing it like nonstop. It's a really good game and it's uh, freed right now. And I put like 20 some hours into it and you know all free so it's just a really solid game uh, that I recommend uh, and I did go on the store and look at other phone games and I did try a few out but none of them are close to this game so if you want uh, this is just a really solid game to play on your phone uh, while you're walking around or just anywhere. Uh, so I don't play phone games like ever, but this is the only one that I got that actually kept my attention. So it's Re Fantasia Charm and Conquer. Um, I just decided to record and talk about it. I'm not sure if I was supposed to ask him for permission or not the company. I know sometimes you have to ask the company for permission. But yeah, it's uh, an anime game where it's, it's medieval. You're like in a castle and you gotta recruit people and fight back. Uh, like You're the rebellion and you gotta fight take out these uh, these like assassin dudes. And it's just a really fun game. Uh, you get rewards all the time, and it's great. So you play as the Lord, and you, you're you allowed to make decisions. But your followers give you advice and stuff. And the advice is, you know, they, they, everyone, everyone in this game is pretty smart. Uh, it's, a, it's a game where everyone's smart, and it's... You know, I, I respect it. It's it, this game treats you like someone who's smart. They 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 don't treat you like a like an idiot. So I respect that. Um, and I think I'll show you the characters. Uh, I was gonna show you the gameplay, but I'm not sure how to record it. But you just tap on stuff. It's it's a phone game. You just tap on things, and that's the gameplay. But it's a really good gameplay. So this is uh, Blake. This is the guy I spend the most time with. He's really fun to hang out with. And he gives good advice. And he's kind of like he has like he eh. He has that like Santa laugh where it's like ho ho ho. So he's just a really cheery guy, and he's just really fun to hang out with. And you know he's he's a fighter dude, which as someone who plays Warhammer a lot. I like to hang out with fighter dudes. So Blake is I spent a lot of time with him. I leveled him up a lot. I put a lot of resources into him. He's a really cool guy. And uh I'll show you some other characters. So uh how you get stronger is by recruiting people and leveling them up. But another way of getting stronger is finding wives and having kids and having those kids uh marry other princess and princesses and what they mean by that is actually marrying like other players which sounds a bit strange but you marry other players uh, kids and then you it's kinda like an arranged marriage where you send your kids off to get married and in exchange you get a little bit of power it's but uh, yeah. So you get wives. It's kind of a a job thing, where your job is to get wives and have kids of them, and they understand that it's kind of like a power thing. So you still go on dates on the, with them and all that, but it's more like a power thing. Uh, I'll show you some other characters. Uh, Blake's a badass. He's like one of the coolest characters that I've met. Uh, I've played a lot of games, and he's one of the coolest characters out there. 
Uh, I recommend the game just for Blake. He's just super cool. Uh, oh, and you can't explore the city that you're in. So that's just super fun. Uh, and there's a lot of upgrade options. So the game has a lot of variety. I'll show you some other ones. Uh, this I took off. These pictures I took straight from their Facebook. So this is official art straight from their Facebook. And these characters do move around a bit. So it's not like a... There's a picture here, but in the game they do move around a bit. Um, so I'll show you some other characters. It's not hard to get followers and stuff like that. So you'll see these pictures. Uh, you'll see these guys pretty early on. Uh, if I can get rid of this. There we go. Then I replace it. But yeah, I just want to talk about the characters and try to convince you to play this uh, free game. And then I'll go back to uh, Warhammer. I just want to make these couple videos. Uh, I'm really, you know, stepping out and trying other stuff. I've been playing a lot of Dead Space and stuff like that. I'm kind of an old school player, so I don't see myself playing the new games anytime soon. Any game with like modern day anything is alien to me. Um, so I can show you this one. I got four of them. Four or five. So this is Azim, I think that's how you say it, and she's like your uh, accountant. Even with a castle, you got an accountant. And this is like an anime game, but for the most part, they seem pretty realistic. They're not like ridiculous. Most of the characters are, are seem pretty ridiculous. They're not like crazy. So she's she's like your accountant. Uh, she's with you when she when you make decisions, and you can actually marry her. Uh, you tell her to like relax and not work all the time, and she like oh I guess we're married now. So, so yeah, she's your accountant. Um, you can the game does have a uh away from keyboard AFK they, they, do, they do have an AFK option and that's what she's for she does stuff while you're away but that's like a paid thing it, it, it only costs a dollar to get the AFK stuff which is pretty fair uh, but she is uh, your account I think uh, if I get enough money I think I will spend a bit on this game it's uh, for a couple of bucks, you get a lot. So I really enjoy it. There are a few questionable characters in the game, like religious icons and stuff like that. That stuff there is pretty. That stuff there, I I kind of have mixed feelings about making religious icons anime. So that's. I don't know about that, those ones. Uh, this is Freedy. She's like your elf. And she's like your dedicated farmer. So. There you go. Hope of good harvest, it says there on the side. Uh, you can't actually follow her. Or you can't. You can't marry her. I meant to say. You can't marry her. She's off limits. She's your dedicated farmer. But you can't level her up so she farms better. And I really like see these apples and fruit, they look pretty real realistic. So I like I really dig this art style. It's a mix of uh realistic and uh anime. So I really do enjoy this art style. It's really nice. 
And what you see here is, is, is exactly what you see in the game. So it's pretty nice. The only thing that sucks is she doesn't have a lot of voice lines. So you can only talk to her for a bit before she uh, burped. You can only talk to her for a bit before she repeats herself. Um, and that's basically for you to your dedicated farmer. So you have a dedicated farmer and a dedicated uh, accountant. Two, two. And Blake's like your dedicated uh, military guy. Uh, they did have other characters on their Facebook, but some of them have like a. Uh, it is medieval time. Some of them aren't really wearing like underwear, so those ones I can't really show you. The ones that aren't really wearing underwear, those ones I can't really show you. To do. This is. Leo, I think. Hold on. He actually has quite a few voice lines. Leon, there we go. Uh, Leon's the monk. Uh, he's pretty good at everything. Uh, he, I leveled him up a lot, and he's pretty cool. He's like, uh, wow, you got all these followers and all these guys and stuff. That's pretty cool. He, he, he just walks around and tells you you're cool. And he's like, wow, you got, you know, you're doing a good job and stuff. So he just walks around and tells you you're cool. And he has like an animal voice. And it's great. And there's a lot of animals in the game. Uh, people like Leon. They call them uh, bestians. And there's just, there's a lot of them in the game. Uh, you got like dog girls and cat girls and even bird girls. Uh, the bird girls look like girls, but they have uh, wings and claws, kind of like uh, harpies. So they look more like harpies and birds, but it's all right. But yeah, I leveled him a lot. I leveled him up a lot because he's just good at everything. Uh, so he's pretty cool. You get him pretty late in the game, so it takes a while to unlock him, but he's pretty cool. The last one I have, uh, I, I didn't get, I didn't get every character on their Facebook, uh, but I did get, like, half of them. Again, I, I probably need to ask permission to do this sort of stuff, so maybe I'll ask permission uh, later. This is the last one I show you. This one's kind of risky. Um, I did the risky one last. This is Sigourney. Uh, Sigourney, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh. She's one of your dedicated fighters. Uh, they have her on like all the trailers and stuff, and she's, you know, she's like on all the, you know, when they advertise the game, she's like everywhere. But she only has like one voice line, and she's another one of your dedicated fighters, like Blake. Uh, but Blake has a lot of voice lines, uh, so they put her on like all the trailers, but you actually can't really do anything with her. But I did level up her up a lot, and I use her multiplayer. Uh, the multiplayer is great. I forgot to talk about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is mostly co-op, and it's just you get rewarded for just hanging out, and you, even if you friend someone, you get rewarded for that. So the multiplayer is great, and it's very supportive. Uh, but anyways, Sigourney, uh, you get her at the very start. Uh, and in story mode, you meet her like at level ten, so which is a bit strange. You get her at the start, but you don't actually meet her, meet her until like level ten or so. Uh, but yeah, she's the 
the fighting in the game is automatic, so you don't have to worry about that. It is just like tapping the screen anywhere, and you win the fights. But yeah, she you get her at the start, and she kicks ass. Uh, she just really wants food, and as long as you give her food, she'll f fight for you. And she's pretty cool. I like her design. I like how the tail is going one way and her hair is going the other way. It's pretty cool. And a lot of the girls in the game uh, look like this. So you'll see this a lot. So, let me get rid of that. But yeah, there there is a lot of girls in this game. And half of them you can't really do anything with. Uh... And most of the guys are either fighters or uh, help you out with the stores. So that's pretty cool. I'll go back to Blake because Blake's my man. There we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this video I just want people to know that I've been playing this game and I've really been enjoying it um, the story is a little silly and the characters a little silly but once you get past that it's a really solid game and I recommend it to pretty much anyone uh, there, are some, there are some crazy moments but those crazy moments only last a couple seconds so, but there are some crazy moments in the game, uh, but it, yeah, they're they're pretty short. So yeah, you um have kids, you fight, and you mostly just hang out with other players. That's what a lot of the game is: is hanging out with other players. So it's a really it's a really good game with a lot of support with good art, and they update the game all the time. They updated it like yesterday. So it's an ever-growing game. So I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a free game. I will say, ever since I downloaded it, I get advertisements for anime games all the time now. And those games look weird. Even by my standards. They look really, really weird. So, I'm not going to play those. I did try out Idle Angels which was fun for like a day and I did try Idle Farmers which was fun for like an hour uh, but this game here I put like 20 some hours in and it's still fun uh, it's starting to wear off on me because really all you do is make kids and fight so it's starting to wear off on me but I still like hanging out with the characters the characters are really solid so yeah I think that's going to be the end of the video if you like this art uh, you should play the game. Uh, and yeah, I think that'll cover it. And I'll uh, play more. I'll, sh I'll do more Warhammer videos after this. This is just like a. I won't. I won't make a lot of videos like these. This is just like a one one time thing. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.